Hi, this is Kurt Blattenberger with the Airplanes and Rockets website again. And what I'm going to do is give a little demonstration on how to cover a compound uh, wingtip with Monaco. It's a pretty simple process once you get the technique down a little bit. Here's the bottom of this wing. This is for an electric powered control line plane. And this, the bottom part of the wing has been done. It's an open framework uh, wing. We're going to zoom down here now and I'll show you how it's done. The wingtip it's open frame here. It doesn't. It's not a solid carved block, so we'll, we'll just go with that. Here's some extra weight in the wingtip, like you typically put in a control line plane. The, the secret to this is to use the heat and to stretch the monocoat, and the monocoat will shrink a lot. And you can see here that when I pull this tight, that there's a lot of area that needs to be shrunk up in here. And believe it or not, this will come out nice and tight. Same thing back in this area, it's not quite so bad. So what I do is I use the heat of the gun to attach it to the balsa frame on the edge as well as do the shrinking. So I'll start out down here and you can see that I've got it pulled tightly up against that edge. So I'll go ahead and use the heat to get it started and to hold on there. You just kind of watch it and just be careful as you're going, make sure that it's not, it doesn't look like it's going to start. Uh, melting once it does and things go bad really fast. So I'm just pulling it tight and then I'm stretching it down along the edge to get it to adhere. And I'll just work this around just a little bit at a time until the, the shrinking of the monocoat occurs. And then just pull the, pull the wrinkles out as you go. You don't want to pull real hard because the monocoat will tear. All these these kind of lines here will will actually come out if you're persistent enough and take care. Just rework it. It's okay to re-shrink the monaco, reheat it as necessary. There are some of the uh, the newer shrink coverings that you really can't keep re-shrinking and applying the heat because they basically shrink once and then never again. Fortunately, Monica is not like that. I keep working at it and use the heat and just pull it to get it to pull those lines out of there. And at the very end, after we get this much done with it adhered to the frame, I'll just go back with the, over it with the monocoat iron, and it'll get the, the final areas out. And I'm going to move it over here. And whatever you do, do not let the metal from the heat gun touch the monocoat, or it will melt a hole through it instantly. If I can get this shrunk, you can see how it's got a very high shrinkage factor. Just let the, let the heat do the work. I can get it to shrink, pull it down over the edge, and it'll stick because it's so hot and the, the adhesive is still nice and gooey at that point. And you just have to kind of. Ooh, I, Gotta watch it there because it's got the, it's touching the metal from the those pieces of lead that I have in the wingtip. That metal gets too hot while it's touching the monocoat, it can actually burn through the monocoat. That was poor planning on my part to make not making sure that that was gonna be below the angle cut by the, between the rib and the end of the wing tip. But I know it's got that ugly bump in it. Everything is nice and tight at this point. So let me show you real quick here. You can look along that edge, see there's no wrinkles in the cover or anything. That's where my little weight bump is, but I'm just going to have to live with it. And then I'll take the monocoat iron and I'll seal it along this edge, go ahead and trim it off, and then fold the, the excess in. I'll leave about a sixteenth of an inch or so overlap, and then you're done. And this works for solid surfaces just as well as it does an open bay surface like right here on this compound curve. All right, thank you.